This is such an interesting question. I almost want to say we don't need pen and paper at all for this question, but I won't go quite that far. I still think it's a good idea to set up the Carroll's diagram, also known as double set matrix, for this question, because we have small, large, and total, and we have red, green, and total. Now, what makes this question so interesting is that they're telling us that for each size, we have the exact same number of red toys and green toys, which means that whatever the ratio of small to large is in red, it's gonna be exactly the same ratio of small to large in green, and it will also be exactly the same ratio of small to large in general for the total of red and green. Uh, so just to illustrate that, if you had X for the small red toys and X for the small green toys, and you had Y for the large red toys and y for the large green toys, then you have this ratio of x to y. And for the total small toys, you'd have 2x. And for the total large toys, you'll have 2y. So there as well, for the total, you have that same ratio. I mean, it's 2x to 2y, but you can reduce the 2. And it's again x to y. So I think this is also very intuitive if you think about this. If you have the same ratio of small to large in each of the colors, you'll also have that same ratio of small to large in general. And I think that's really the concept that they're trying to test in this question. See, they're asking for a ratio in this question. They want to know what fraction of the total green toys is large. And with the letters that I used here for illustration purposes, that would be y over x plus y. But because of the way ratios work, if I had the ratio of x to y, or y to x, or x plus y to x, any of those would be sufficient to answer this question, because you can grab any two columns you want from a three-column ratio. Now, I hope you'll agree that statement one doesn't stand a chance on its own, because it's just giving us one actual number of something, but without any other actual numbers of anything, how can I infer any ratios? I don't have any context. Is 400 a lot? Is 400 a little? I don't know. So let's eliminate the answer choices that claim that statement 1 is sufficient on its own. A and D are gone and we're down to B, C, E. The second statement, on the other hand, does give us a ratio. So just as a guessing strategy, I would immediately go with B here because the question is asking for a ratio. One of the statements just gives me a number. The other statement gives me a ratio. So it's a, actually a pretty good guessing strategy for the GMAT to just go ahead and guess that the statement that gives a ratio is sufficient on its own and the statement that gives an actual number is not. Now just to prove that statement 2 is sufficient on its own, if we know that two-thirds of the total toys are small, we can build a ratio. Small to total is 2 to 3. We can put in an inference column for large. Large would be 1 because it's the difference between small and total. And now we can see that small to large to total is 2 to 1 to 3. And if that's true for the overall toys, it will also be true for the red toys, and it will also be true for the green toys. So what fraction of the total green toys are large? One third. So as we suspected, it turns out that statement 2 is sufficient on its own, and therefore the correct answer is B. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.